everyone. Today we're going to go over the skill of striking. So you kind of get to be creative in what you're going to use to strike. So for what I'm going to use as the ball, and I would like you to do the same thing, is to make paper balls. So I have some right here. I just took some paper, crumpled it up. The ball should be able to fit in your hand. Try to make maybe about 10 if you have enough pieces of paper. Some really good paper to use is newspaper. Or maybe you get some ads that come in the mail. Again, really good. You can crumple them up. Don't make them too big. They should fit in your hand. So you'll need some crumpled up paper and then you'll get to do something real creative and that is find yourself a paddle. So I have a few things that I'm going to be using as a paddle and maybe you'll get some ideas and maybe you'll find something at your house. All right, so the first thing that I have is a DVD case. So take the DVD out and the DVD case can be used as a paddle. Another thing I found in my house was a cutting board. It's really nice because it already has a handle. So this is, could be a paddle. I also have, these are some plastic plates. They look like paper plates, but it has a nice ridge. So you can put your thumb there and it can be a paddle. And lastly, I just found some cardboard out in my garage and it can be used as a paddle too. So I want you to hit pause on this video and try to find yourself a paddle of some sort and then also make some balls out of paper. All right, so hit pause. I'll see you in a second. All right, now that we've found a paddle and you've made yourself some paper balls, we can get started. So we're going to go over striking. This is the very uh, beginning lesson on striking. So I'm going to use this cutting board as my first paddle. And I'm gonna grab my paper balls right here, put them on a pile. So when you're going to be striking, and we're gonna be striking something straight in front of us, okay? So you can stand sideways and maybe you can aim towards the wall, okay? Or you can stand the other way, aim towards the wall, or maybe you have a chair or something that you can aim towards. These are paper balls, so they really shouldn't cause a lot of harm to anything in your home as long as you've made them out of paper, okay? So, first things first, hold the paddle in the hand that you normally hold your pencil in, okay? That's where most people feel most comfortable. It's called your dominant hand. Next, you want to go tap, tap, and then that leg goes back. So, we're stepping in opposition, right? My paddle is in my right hand my left foot goes forward. That's stepping in opposition or my opposite foot forward, okay? So, ready, got your paddle, pat, pat, leg back, here we go. The ball should be held in front of you. It should not be held up by your head because where do you think, if I hit this ball, where do you think it's gonna go right now? It's gonna go behind me, but I want it to go in front of me, right? So, when you're holding the ball, you wanna be down so that way you can hit the ball forward. Okay, we're going nice and easy and gentle. Nobody should be whacking their ball or throwing their paddle. We're simply just gonna be rocking our paddle. One, two, three, and drop. And on drop, you're simply just going to let go or drop your paper ball, okay? Do not throw it up, don't throw it down. You're just gonna let go. And because this paddle is moving nice and slow, it's not gonna hurt your hand, okay? So grab some more paper balls here. Ready? One, two, three, and drop. Nice, I'm hitting some on my shelf over here. Actually, I'm hitting it into Tucker's dog bed, so that's why he left. All right, ready? One, two, three and drop. All right, looking pretty good. So I want you to practice that for a few minutes. I'm gonna collect some of my paper balls that I've been hitting around. So I would like for you to just practice getting in the right stance. Tap, tap leg back and lightly just letting the paper balls be hit right out of your hand. Okay, so you practice that while I collect my paper balls.
All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to switch up paddles because I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try the DVD case, okay? I'm going to try using the DVD case. It's a little bit smaller, so it might be a little more challenging for me, okay? So here we go. This time I'm going to do it towards you. One, two, three, and drop, okay? Again, this time we're going to take out the one, two, three, and we're just going to go drop. All right. Drop. Okay, not as high on that one. Keep practicing. A few more. Here we go. Swing your arm back. Good. Swing your arm back. Okay, I'll just come back a little further. You can see what direction my paper ball is going. All right. Last one for me. Okay, let's pick up our paper balls, bring them back. One more for me. Okay. I'm going to switch up my paddles again. This time I'm going to use the cardboard. We'll see how good I can use this paddle. So remember, stepping in opposition, opposite foot is forward, the hand that has the paddle, tap, tap, tap that leg back. So when you're holding your paddle, even if it's a homemade paddle, you want your thumb to be up. Okay, if you're holding a piece of cardboard, your thumb should be up and that's what's going to be towards your paper ball. If you're using a DVD case, same thing. Thumb up, hitting the paper ball, okay? Paper plate, same thing. Thumb up, and hitting the paper ball, okay? Notice how when I hit my paper ball, my paddle is not ending way up above my head, okay? It's a gentle, gentle and right now you should be aiming for your paper ball to go straight out in front of you because that's what our arm is doing we're just bringing our arm straight like it's a pendulum okay if i held my paper ball out here and swung my arm like this would the paper ball go forwards or would it go towards the side it'd go towards the side okay but for today i want you to try the aim that paper ball to go straight in front of you, all right? So give it a few more practices and then let me know in the comments what did you find to use as your paddle, how many paper balls did you make, and how far did you get that paper ball to go? I can't wait to hear from you.